Hello, this is Eddie here of Guitar Tutor Leads and for this video we're going to have a look at the DD2 and the current version of the DD3. So the DD3 is the current version, it's got a different chip and a slightly different design. So you would have thought, hmm, it's probably going to sound a little bit different or maybe not. Well that's the point. So will the DD3, the one we can buy at the moment, Will that sound very different compared to the DD2? Uh, the DD2 is the first boss, first delay boss made, first digital one. So things started out with boss with the DD2. So yeah, will it be very different, the DD3 we get today, or is it kind of similar? That's what we're going to have a look at for this video. So we have here the DD2 and the DD3. As you can see, we got the controls slightly different. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to use the DD2 as the benchmark pedal. So all the sounds I want to show to you, uh, I'll get them first from the DD2 and then we'll try to duplicate them as well as we can on the DD3. Um, so at the moment it's on 800 milliseconds, uh, long delay times. And let's just see, we're going to listen to one note, I'm just going to play one note on the guitar. When you're doing it like this, of course, I have to really play that note each time the same way. Uh, and also, once I stop the DD2, I have to be aware that there's still sound in the pedal, even though it doesn't really carry on. So the repeats don't trail, but the sound remains in it for a little while. Right, here we go. So, have a listen to this. Do that again. And once again. So you heard that, just one note. I'm gonna do it now on the DD3. Maybe sounds a little bit longer. Get it a little bit quicker. You see, the com the controls are different. Um, one thing, component drift. You know, this is a much older pedal than that one, but also a different chip. So you can't just think like, okay, well they're they're almost the same. I'll just set the controls the same way, because it's slightly. You can see this one. Uh, it's just different, and the the repeats as well. The repeats here are longer than on the other one. Uh, again, the DD3. Switch it off, DD2 again. Not very easy to hear at this stage. That's why I'm doing it like this. I'm gonna do now some pitch play. So just play one note. And I'm just gonna use the uh, delay time. You see that when I do that several times, the note is gone. So what I want you to listen to is, or listen out for is, the strength of that note and how the pedal keeps the note. Of course you're going to change the pitch. At some point, I'm doing it very slowly, the note is gone. Listen to this one. I'm not going to put the volume up yet, you know what I said about component drift and being at different values. I just hope this is okay. I'm 
just going to do the same. Back to the DD2. First, switch it on. Back to the DD3. Well, it, the DD3 seemed to sound fuller, but I'm doing, I'm going to do it again because <laughs> what I said about as well, playing this one note, I'm not playing that note the same because I have to move around here. I'm going to turn the repeat all the way up. Now I know what this is going to do, so maybe don't. I'm not going to do it all the way here. I want just one note and have that in place and then go slowly and see what happens to the sound on both of them. seem to sound fuller to my ears, darker, also the pedal holds the note much better, it's still there, if I do this on the DD2 it's gone at some point, I've got the control on full there, the repeat is nearly on full, I haven't played the guitar, the note is still there. It starts to oscillate now. I have to turn this down. Okay, now can I do that with the DD2? Let's try. This is a lot less strong in output. The note is gone now. I just keep going. It's completely gone. I have to play again. The sound is also lighter. See, if I keep going with this, of course, I can get this oscillation going. I really have to work on it. It's actually gone. Do the same again on this one. Well, you saw it. Turn this up. See, there it goes. Start to oscillate. And it was gone completely when it was open. That's definitely something I couldn't, didn't seem to be able to do on the DD2. Um, the next thing, yes, okay, yeah, the oscillation, that's, that was what I was going to say. This pedal oscillates much quicker, well, it actually oscillates much better than the other one. Um, if I just do, no, I'm just not going to do that right now. Uh, the output also seemed to be fuller there. What we're going to do now is we're going to use a completely different sound. I'm going to turn it to like low, um, low delay sound. And 
just get my controls in place. Uh, just going to turn them for now kind of similar and then see what happens. So it's now on, um, what is this, 50 milliseconds, I think? Yeah. I hope it will be just sounding the same. Mm. Can you hear that? Remember what I said before about the output. This one is louder. Look, I've got them the same. So do this again. Did you say that's louder than this? It is. This is also lighter in sound. Let me not talk too much and just play. This one, you don't get that. Change the sound a bit there. It still doesn't do that. Back again. This one sounds much darker to my ears than this one. Lighter sound, more glassy, and it gets far more noticeable when you use low settings. So this pass pedal also oscillates much quicker and it, it, it's fuller in sound can I actually get them to sound the same well I just I just said they sound different I think on higher settings if I do again quickly we go 800 milliseconds let's just all put them all all the way up but it's it's harder to hear and this is for the DD2 and DD3 it goes for all the other delays as well if you use them at a fairly high delay length time they can sound similar but it the difference to start to show in the lower settings um, I'll just gonna play something here still have that glassy sound of course it won't go away because <laughs> it is just it's much lighter in sound. Let's go to this one. But it's hard to hear. Okay, I talk too much. I'll just do it again. Darker, the three. Let's try the oscillation thing quickly. See if you can keep it going. It does oscillate, but not. It's very lighter. Okay, I haven't got the volume up on full. It's there, it's light. And it fades away. Hear that? 
try the same for this one. You hear it coming on, and it's much fuller, much stronger, and I have to turn it down, it won't stop. Hear how natural it fades away. Open up the feedback control and I get it again, I think. Yeah, it's coming. Because when you do that, you add noise as well, eh? Hear the noise. But it's, it's a natural way how it comes and goes. I'll try it quickly with the DD2, but I think I've shown it before. It doesn't do it. So I won't start on full. See, at some point it stops. So is this useful to know? Well, these are things you can actually use in your music. Um, what I will quickly do is, um, before we wrap up, I'll just, let me see. I'm going to use them both and use that knowledge, what I just said, one is darker, this one is darker, the three is darker, it oscillates and it can actually stay, it stays there as well. So I'm going to play something and use that to my advantage. Um, I'll just do this on the spot, <laughs> I'll just put my controls somewhere and see if it will work what I'm aiming for. <laughs> 